Hello, I'm Natasha Foreman. Welcome to the Breaking Bread with Natasha podcast, where I share daily devotionals from my namesake blog. So you can listen on demand to spiritual messages inspired by God's love as expressed in the Bible and other religious texts. You can read along at breakingbreadwithnatasha.com or sit back and take in the word. Either way, I'm blessed to have you break bread with me. Without further delay, let's begin today's message. Welcome, Breaking Bread family. This is Natasha Foreman. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's look at the book of 1 John chapter 3. We're going to focus on lines 18 to 24. The translation that I'm reading says, Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. This is how we know that we belong to the truth and how we set our hearts at rest in his presence. If our hearts condemn us, we know that God is greater than our hearts and he knows everything. Dear friends, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence before God and receive from him anything we ask because we keep his commands and do what pleases him. And this is his command to believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and to love one another as he commanded us. The one who keeps God's commands lives in him and he in them. And this is how we know that he lives in us. We know it by the spirit he gave us. Every day we start anew with the hope of understanding that we can make our own choices in life. We can choose to do right or wrong, loving and kind or cruel and selfish. We can choose to obey God or not. But at the beginning, middle, and end of each day, and every second in between, God still makes the decisions whether we walk, talk, think, breathe, move, blink, swallow, live here on earth, or pack our spiritual bags and move on to another level of existence. He knows everything. He sees and hears everything. There are no closets for us to hide our skeletons and truths from him. Our actions always speak louder than our words. We can lie to and hide from ourselves and others, but not God. He reveals all. We need to stop pretending and start getting right with God. We need to stop playing games as though we have a trump card that can overrule God and start realizing, acknowledging that he holds every card to every deck and knows every move we're going to make or think we're going to make before we do. I pray to be a little less selfish each day so that I may be more selfless in my walk because this has nothing to do with me and everything to do with him. I love you all. I open myself up to prove in my actions, not just my words, that my declaration is truthful and not just catchy and sweet. Enjoy your day and thank God for each day that you wake and live. So if you have a moment, please join me in prayer. Father, fill me with your love and peace that I might love all of your children without hesitation or judgment as you have commanded. Teach me, Father, how to be accepting and loving of my fellow brothers and sisters as Jesus does. Let me see them as you do, and let me see myself as you see me. Father, you know me better than I will ever know myself. You know my strengths and weaknesses. Some I've acknowledged and some I'm still clueless or in denial about. But even in my imperfections, I am perfect in your sight as your spiritual reflection. I want to be a better person, Lord. I want to lead a better life where nothing and no one takes the place of you comes before you, has more power over my life and in my mind than you. I want my crooked walk to be straightened. I want my life to be filled with more peace and joy as I bring more peace and joy to others' lives. I know that nothing and everything takes place by your will and grace and there is nothing that I can do to change this, to change you, or to change your mind, for you are the ultimate and only decision maker. 
Father, I don't want to just disappoint you even when I do. And, and even when later today, I probably will. That is not in my heart, Lord, and you know this. Help me to discern truth from fiction, light from dark, love from fear, transparency from manipulation, real from fake, and know that no matter what I go through, you will always be here and there for me. In Jesus' name, I pray to you this day and every day. Amen. And with that, family, I pray that you are blessed, that you see and embrace your blessings, and that you are a blessing to others. I love you all. Let's go out there and make today an awesome day. Take care. Hi, family. If what I shared in today's message resonates with you, I hope you will share it with others. Feel free to leave positive comments and reviews on my site, breakingbreadwithnatasha.com, and through whichever podcast provider that you're listening to me. Each day, I work to be a better steward and servant. I hope you will join me in sharing God's love and truth and rebuking the enemy's lies. Now go out there and make today an awesome day. I love you all.